So we're here with the H HZO. So who are you? Uh, my name is Ryan Moore. I work in the marketing department. Uh, HZO is a company that they waterproof electronic devices. We work with manufacturers to help uh, protect their devices from water, from sweat, any sort of corrosion. So it's problems. submerged, it's waterproof. Yeah, yeah right. Let me turn this on. These have been in here all day. Is this a real, real, uh, or did you modify it? So this is a, a real Samsung Edge uh, that we, we purchased and waterproofed ourselves just as a demonstration device. You can see the water actually gets inside of the device, but it's everything on the inside that's protected. There's no coating or anything on the outside. So water can actually get in, you can see the bubbles. Water can get in the device and just drains out the bottom with, with no problems. All right. so. So uh, what are you showing here? So this is a test that we did. This is a 48 hour salt fog test. Uh, salt fog is very corrosive as you can see. So after 48 hours the unprotected iPhone 5S had all this corrosion on the inside of the device. Uh, here uh, in my left hand is the HDO protected iPhone 5S that we have our coating on there. It's a clear transparent coating so we wouldn't even know it's there but you can see there's no corrosion and it's able to preserve the, the phone. So, uh, are you already in the mass production and products? Yes, we are. So here's an example of some of them here. Uh, we were featured on the Motorola Surround. It's a uh, new Bluetooth headphones that came out this year to help protect against sweat. Uh, also the Nike Fill Band we're featured on. The Navalite Wrist Compass. And over here we have the Tolino e-reader uh, Vision 2. This was uh, a number one e-reader in, in Europe, and we're also featured on the, the one that just came out, the Vision 3 as well. Nice. So, uh, it, is there some? Is there another company, P2i, are you similar or is a different technology? It's actually completely different technology. Theirs is more of a uh, changing the contact angle and making things hydrophobic. Ours is a physical barrier. Uh, to keep the water away from the electronics. So the benefit of that is you can do prolonged submersion. Uh, these have been in all morning with, with no problems at all. Is it a process where it's like you put in an oven and you can make it like this? Or how do you make it uh, compatible with your technology? How yeah. do you put it in there? So what it is, we work with manufacturers. We have equipment that um, has a large chambers. So we, we would assemble a PCB uh, into an assembled board. We put it into a machine. The machine releases a gas then the gas forms a thin coating around all the circuitry of the device. And it's done at room temperature, uh, and then you would finish the assembly of the device basically putting it on the outer shell. So all the protection is on the inside of the device, so even if water gets in through one of the ports, everything inside is protected. And it stays on if you touch it later or you scratch it, it does it make a hole in it? No, or? no, yeah. I mean, if I scrape this really hard, it would come off, but I mean, it, again, it's all contained on the inside of the product, and so no, no problems whatsoever. All right, so um, are you talking with a bunch of consumer electronics um, fact makers and they are interested? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're, we're still a pretty young company. We started around yeah. 2012, but I mean, we've made some great progress. Uh, this is a cool thing here. This is a Raspberry Pi computer. It's been nice. running our demo reel all morning, uh, since 9.30 this morning. Uh, all the coding is on here, uh, and it's running our video right here. Nice, and there's never any leaks or any, because if there's a small hole in it, it could be an issue, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so we're able to help protect them. The, the coding that we use is very robust. Uh, it's able to keep water out and not let it in. Cool. Could it be combined with the competing P2i, or it should be one or the other? Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess you could. Uh, Arch just offers a very robust solution uh, so that you can do things like prolonged submersion. So in 2016, everything should be waterproof, right? That's the goal. That's what we're shooting. We're shooting for an HDO protected world. When you buy a Samsung, it should just be by default with all yeah, this. Yeah, you should be able to put it in the water all, all day. 